Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. Today I'm gonna to be creating a winter container using branches, berries, and evergreens. The best part about winter containers is that after a long season of taking care of plants, you don't ever have to water these. And you can put them anywhere you want in the landscape because light requirements do not matter. So I'm gonna start with my centerpiece first. For that, I'm gonna use this Arctic Fire Red Twig Dogwood. These have gorgeous dark red branches and the color maintains all through the season. One other thing, in the fall when you get ready to clean out your pots, make sure to leave the soil if you're planning on doing a winter container because it acts as a frog and holds all of the branches in place, just like this. Just push them right down in there. Now I'm gonna start working my way down in height. So for the next layer, I'm gonna use these really pretty spruce branches. And then before I start working my way down to my next layer below the spruce, I'm gonna tuck a few of these polar gold arborvitas in just to give it a little bit of fluff and a little bit of contrasting color. This has got the most gorgeous yellow color on its tips. For the next layer down, I'm gonna use this very heavy winterberry holly. These are the prettiest berries I have ever worked with. And if this doesn't make you want to go plant one in your landscape right now, I have no idea what would. For my last layer, I'm gonna use some of this soft serve camisipris and I'm just gonna tuck some in right around the base just to soften the edges and make it look complete. At this point, you can stand back and size up what you've got going on and you can always stick more branches in here and there just to make it look more balanced or to add more berries. It's really easy to tuck more stuff in, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's so much fun to be able to go out in your garden and harvest these things to make these kind of arrangements for the holidays. So my advice to you is to go out and plant these things in your landscape so that you have ready access to them when you get ready to create. That's it guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video, bye.